In today's episode, a virtual teacher helps students reach the top 10% in the USA, how to help teachers avoid burnout, how technology and gamification can make learning more effective. Without further delay, let's begin another EdTech News. Alpha School in Austin, Texas has seen a huge boost in test scores. Students are now ranked in the top 10% nationwide. The school credits this success to a new AI tutor, an artificial intelligence system that teaches for two hours each day. During the rest of the school day, students work on other important skills like public speaking, finance management, and teamwork. Speaking on Fox and Friends, Alpha School co-founder Mackenzie Price explained that using AI helps students learn not only faster, but also better. So we use an AI tutor and adaptive apps to provide a completely personalized learning experience for all of our students. And as a result, our students are learning faster. Uh, they're learning way better. In fact, our classes are in the top 2% in the country. And what's even better is the rest of the afternoons are spent doing life skill development. The AI system offers a completely personalized learning path, giving teachers more time to focus on motivating their students and supporting them emotionally. One student, high schooler L. Christine, pointed out on compared to traditional schools where students can be overloaded with homework, most of the academic work at Alpha School is done in three-hour blocks. After that, students can follow their passion projects. Christine, for example, is developing a safe AI dating coach for teenagers. I have an app Okay. answers any question about teen dating. I want to ask my crush out to prom in front of all of her friends. Is that a good idea? It really depends on her personality. Alpha School currently have a few hundred students and its leaders plan to expand in other parts of the country. According to Price, the growing interest from parents shows how much people want personalized education and how teachers' new role as mentors and emotional supporters is so important. Meanwhile, AI focuses on teaching the material in a way that fits each student's needs. If you are interested in these topics, check out our project, which also has a built-in AI tutor. You can join our waiting list at mentingo.com. Staying on the topic of AI assistance. According to research by Impact Research, most teachers now regularly use AI chatbots and tools like ChatGPT. This is already our reality, which is great news because it shows that new technology is being adopted in education at a high rate. No wonder that EdTech field is growing so quickly, offering more tools every day. So what does that mean in practice? How can AI tools support teachers? By automatically creating lesson plans based on a topic, subject and class level. By generating materials for students, including presentations and lesson outlines. By helping grades and comment on student work and create education documents. All these things help teachers save time. That means they can focus more on improving how they teach and on truly engaging their students. As mentioned in a previous episode about banning phone use in schools, it can be tough to hold students' attention in the age of doom scrolling. In the last two years alone, searches for tools that generate lesson plans have increased 50 times. Let's take a look at some specific possibilities. First up is a magic school AI, whose main goal is to reduce teacher burnout by supporting them in everyday tasks. The problem of burnout is serious, affecting nearly half of teachers in the US. Why is burnout so common and what challenges do teachers face? Not enough time to prepare materials. Magic School AI can create lesson plans, tasks and teaching aids in about a minute. Communication barriers in diverse classrooms. It can automatically translate text into over 25 languages. Boring teaching methods. It helps design interactive educational games and animations. Different students' needs. It can suggest individual learning plans and tailor tasks for each student's level. School bureaucracy. It generates grading rubrics, student feedback and parent newsletters. Low digital skills in student. It's a magic student feature. Teachers responsible AI use, like verifying sources. Difficult creating virtual materials. It integrates with Canva for designing presentations, infographics and other visuals. Limited day-to-day -day support. A chatbot answers questions about teaching methods and conflict resolution, acting as a helper that is always there for the teacher. In short, this leads to a big improvement in our day-to-day -day work. 
Saving time, it cuts down an administrative task, for example, creating documents in one click. Personalized learning, it adapts content to each student's needs, like tasks for both gifted students and those needing more support. Teacher support, it provides training and materials to learn new methods, like using AI in education. Digital skills development, Magic Students teaches students to think critically and use technology ethically. Easier collaboration with parents. It offers automatic newsletters and translations into multiple languages. There are many tools like this right now. For example, Magic School AI tries to solve many problems at once, but these are also tools that focus on single tasks like creating presentations or lesson plans. One example to check out is Kuripod. Kuripod focuses strongly on gamifications. Teachers use it to turn lessons into a game-like experience, for example, with quizzes, polls, or brainstorming sessions where everyone can add ideas. Quickly spot mistakes, like in game you see who did what incorrectly and can fix it, create a lesson in 5 minutes, the teacher just types a topic, example dinosaurs, and the tool creates materials. How does it work? The teacher type a topic, and AI, artificial intelligence, builds a lesson with questions and tasks. In class, all students answer on their phones or tablet, and the teacher can see who needs help. Afterward, the teacher gets a report, like Kate struggles with math, but John really knows history. For students, that means fewer boring slides, more games and contests. The teacher knows what each student finds difficult and can help right away, instead of explaining things everyone else already understands. You can take part anonymously, so there's no embarrassment if you don't know something. It's a bit like TikTok and video game elements, but without making students create new accounts. Everyone just scans a QR code to join. Here is an example. A biology teacher wants to explain how plants grow. She sets up a quiz in a curry pot. Where do plants usually get water from? Everyone answers and she sees half the class thinks plants take water from the air. Then she can say, okay, let's talk about roots first. So what does this mean for children's education? Teachers can spend more time directly with students instead of preparing materials. Lessons can be customized with AI data analysis. We should remember though that this may affect children's privacy. There is less paperwork like writing reports or IEP documents. Okay, so what do you think about the current state of education? Do people in your school or organization use modern teaching methods to reach their learning goals more effectively? Thank you for watching this episode and remember, educate yourself about technology.